Good morning, guys. Welcome to Wednesday. All week I've had my dates mixed up. I've been thinking like it was yesterday that was Wednesday. Today that was Tuesday. It's just a mess. Just a weird week. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're down here to do chores. Yeah. So uh, the horses go out first thing in the morning and then we do what we have to do at the house, like school and stuff. And then when that's all done, we come down and clean up. So if we go get the big bucket and we'll try and clean up, clean up the field. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Sophie fell today and got a big bruise. And yeah, yeah. It's a bad month. Hasn't it been a bad month? Yeah. Yeah, she fell. That's a good title. Sophie fell. It's better falling on the ground than off your horse. Yeah, definitely. We can't clean that. It's too muddy. Oh, we can clean it. It's too muddy. We can clean it. It's too muddy. It's true. It's been raining for days. But it's dry mud. It's dry. But you know, this ground was so flat like last week. We picked up all the poo in this, uh, in this area so that there'd be no like extra mud. Bumping when the rainy season mud. came, yeah, and then there's just mud. I don't understand that. I do love having this gate open though, and the horses being able to come in and out at their leisure. So, Sam cleaned up our field. You guys know this is the field that we had our horses in all summer. Fed our horses, made them happy, and now it's looking all gorgeous and beautiful. I am considering putting them out there in the winter, like when there's snow and stuff. We, and then using like the little paddock for when it's mud season because we don't want to ruin this this field. We've been really lucky, you guys. Like there's no mud in this field at all. None of it's ripped up. Even at like the front of the gate where there's always mud, there's no mud. It's all grass. It's all been good. What is it? Apple you got apple treats? It smells like apple. I'm loving your sweater today, Sophie. It's soggy and hard. That hurts teeth when you try and bite into Don't it. eat horse treats. They're not meant for human teeth. Um, I was laughing so much in the car because I did a TikTok thing on my friend. Yeah, it's funny. That's it? Yeah. <laughs> is it a boyfriend by any chance? I don't have a boyfriend. But is it a friend that's a boy is my yes. question. Yes. And that's why you didn't elaborate. But anyway. Back to the shirt. I love this shirt on her. Got a little dirty when she Don't fell. Don't try and bite into these. But it's adorable. I feel like we should do a photo shoot with our horses today. If we had our truck already, we would be taking our horses someplace. I'm ready. I, I just want to go on a trail. Do not run roll down the hill with that shirt on. Oh, no, don't. It's so cute. It's Isn't it cute? Dirty. I know. She got it dirty, but it's adorable. Anyway, Sophie and I are standing on the top of the hill watching our girls and our boy and we're gonna do a contest it's really windy we're gonna do a contest to see which one will come first when we call them and offer treats so come on give me another treat you come on Gino Get back here. Come on. Come on, Chino. Back up, Sophie. Come on. Uh-oh, Chino's going to do it. I know it. Come on, Penny. She's throwing treats. Come on, Penny. Come on. Our horses are dumb. Come on. We quit. Our horses won't come. Oh, Gracie's coming. She's coming. Nope. <laughs> They're afraid they'll be caught and taken inside. Nothing is better than this beautiful grass out here. She's so cute. She came to me. Oh, she went to Sophie. And she went to me. Sam closed off that pasture that he just cut the grass a couple of days ago because he doesn't want the horses in there eating it. But one of my favorite parts of this whole property is this 
little courtyard. And I know it's not a traditional courtyard, but I would call it a courtyard. It is like this beautiful grassy area outside our barn that we use to dump our poop. So the reason I love it is because it's such a good place that we can like take our horses out when they're tacked up and people can get on them out here and it's all like grassy and I don't know I just love a courtyard so much and I hope that when we move that our new property will have a courtyard like an actual real courtyard a bigger one because courtyards are my thing all right so we are done stall chino stall is done the arena has been poop picked we did decide to wait to do the outside until it gets a little bit drier but did you guys see like there's leaves all through our arena I don't even know if that's ever happened before. Are you guys done? We're ready to roll. Ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys just hanging out on your phones in a barn. In a barn, there's so much fun stuff to do. Yeah, I love it. I love, I love it. Got a fireplace hooked up. Are you? Wood stove. Yeah. Could hide out here. You guys are doing your school. Cozy. Yeah. Oh, I love that, but wood stoves in barns, isn't it dangerous? Yeah, we'll only be here when it's on. We won't be on all the time. That's Who thinks that is such a good idea to like make this more user friendly in the winter? I definitely do. Did you guys know that if I ground the girls from their phone or if I make rules, which during school hours we have rules, if I say like no phones until 3 p.m., Suddenly my girls are like so much more energetic, so much more happy, so much more outgoing. They want to do stuff. They want to be in the arena and playing with the horses. But if they can have a choice between doing anything and having their phone, they always choose their phone. That is, so that is you. That is totally you. It's way more you than Sophia. But you're the age that you like your phone. Way more Gabby than Sophia. Sam is going to show us how he brings the horses in each day at noon. Ah, look at those cute girl and boy. You don't know something's going on. I don't even know what they do. Every city, every place. Aw, oh, Chino always goes to Gabby. Uh-oh, Penny's like, I will do it myself. horses know though like they absolutely know look how cute he is it's time to get you back to the barn and working out and time to get you on a diet I brushed her entire body yesterday and you know what's really funny though when I brush her she stands there like she's a princess like yes peasant <laughs> do it do it all yeah, I'll be back down a little bit. We're going up to eat lunch. You guys just had lunch and breakfast all in one go. So I'll be back, okay? I'll be back. I'll brush you, pick your feet, and we'll do something. Maybe we'll ride. Uh, how do you get so dirty? Oh, my goodness. All right. Bye, girls. Just like that, our horses are in for the heat of the day. And we'll go back out in a couple more hours, a few more hours, and they'll enjoy the nighttime eating frenzy. So uh, this is the leftover of yesterday's salad. You guys know I showed you the salad. Usually it gets super dehydrated. You guys can see that it, there's not as much water in it. We take it away. So uh, this is her new salad. I'm just going to put some vitamins on here. We wet it down, like I said yesterday, so she's always getting enough, enough fluid in her diet. And it's always like some form of greens and salad and then we add extra things. Today I added a little tiny bit of pineapple and some peas. Uh, she is digging in her sand. So this is her new thing. She digs. I don't know if it's because the crickets dig. 
and she has to find them or if she's just so excited to have sand I do not know we've never used this kind of substrate before and we can also use a kitty litter to pick up like old dehydrated vegetables a kitty litter scoop we have a special one specifically for her <laughs> But I can't find it. But regardless, I think that she really is in really enjoying this. Maybe she's trying to dig like a hole that she can bear, burrow down in. I honestly haven't done a lot of research into substrate because it's not something that we have ever used. And we've had her for two years. In fact, it's her birthday. It is? In September. It's September? I think her birthday is September. I think so. Come over here and see your fresh salad and your fresh water. Like, oh, I'll stay away from that. You guys can see that there's still crickets rolling around in there. We took some out so that there wouldn't be so many. Just enough that she could hunt and find them and eat them when she's hungry. <laughs> she's so cute. I actually really love watching her do this. We should have got the light colored sand. Sophie wanted to get the light colored sand and we should have got it because actually you can't even see her. She's the same color as the sand. Hi. Hi, Trix. And lunch for us is grilled cheese, grapefruit, beans, no peas, and a little bit of the amazing pineapple that we got. Are you guys? I'm at the barn. We're getting ready for tornado weather. Tornado weather. We had an alert that there's going to be uh, severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. I don't even know if lessons will be canceled. It's supposed to start at 3 and then clear up by like 5 and then again at 8 o'clock be dangerous so I don't know if lessons will be canceled but you can see it's dark it's getting dark looks bright in the camera but the clouds are coming clouds are coming in gonna batten down the hatches at the barn because uh, you know if there's a tornado you gotta close all the windows and doors to be prepared so I'm not sure what we're gonna do because we don't have enough stalls but, that's Chino calling, wants to go out again. We don't have enough stalls to put them all in, but because we use one for hay. I can close the one barn door and uh, hopefully that'll be good enough. Hi Penny, I'm gonna close the door for you. Watch out. Make sure you guys have lots of water and then I'll close the door. And this is the door I closed because the wind always comes in this direction. Always like a north wind, north west wind comes this way. So I close this door, right? Right, Gracie? Right? Gracie was agreeing with me. All right, so I got the barn windows closed. I got the door closed. I got Chino. I got a fan on for him because, I don't know, it's not hot, but could get hot anyways. A little bit later and we're all set got the door locked there and this door will be closed hopefully the storm will just pass us by and uh, we'll be good to go to our lesson tonight and right on cue it's three o'clock and it's starting to rain so. all right so we are returning the hackamore it's super cool how it works it can loosen and tighten like you can make it bigger on the horse's nose so it doesn't give as much pressure but like I said I looked it up when we got home after we got it and it just doesn't seem like something that we're interested in using it's so sunny out here it was supposed to be a tornado storm like torrential rain pour I love a good storm in the middle of the summer so we have Lily Lily and Gabby and we have and a power plant. And I mean, hurry, hurry up, hurry. It's like we're the only ones in the barn. It seems like since school started, it's been really quiet around here. Getting back into the swing of school is probably really difficult for most people. And our friends that ride with us every week aren't going to be here this week either. So it is us alone. We're getting two private lessons this week. So somebody wanted to know about Sophie's saddle. I'm going to just put it in the video so that you guys know. But typically what happens, I don't know what happens where you guys live or where some people live, but every lesson horse has their own saddle. At this barn, every lesson horse has two saddles. One like that's a little bit bigger and one that's a little bit smaller that fit the horse that riders can choose from. We don't get the opportunity to like 
have our own lesson saddle for a lesson horse. So we have to just make do. It's the way it's always been for us. So Sophie's able to choose between like the bigger or the smaller saddle that Denver rides in. So that's why her saddle doesn't fit her perfectly, as do most lesson kids not have a perfectly fitting saddle. What's most important is that the saddle fits the horse. The absolute worst place to groom on a horse is right underneath where the girth goes. I swear to God, horses know. He's like, hmm, I don't know if I really want to work today. Never to <laughs> it's been a lonely oh, week at the barn. No, I don't think Denver's lazy. I think he's just getting older. But look at, she did a pretty good job cleaning him. He was covered in mud. All right, Gabby, we're gonna do a test to see how good of a job you did cleaning Lily. Yeah, she's never dirty. Some horses are super clean, and some horses like mud. Lily is a clean one. Chino is a clean one. He would never get too, too dirty. Penny loves mud, and so does Gracie love mud. Comment below. Does your horse, is your horse a dirty one or a clean one? Honestly, I think they put this bench in the middle of the arena for me. The girls had a phenomenal lesson. All right, Gabby, what was your best part, favorite part about the lesson? Um, not dying. Not dying? Yeah. It was a challenging lesson. It's nice having private lessons sometimes. Sophie, what was your favorite part of the lesson? Did you do anything that was challenging? No. We're exhausted. We're going home to bed. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the